Cleveland has been consistent in producing elite soccer players for decades. Countless players have gone on to play collegiately and professionally, with several professional or semi-professional men's teams formed over the years. Summer 2016 was the inaugural year for the Cleveland Women's Premier Soccer League team. The objectives of the team are to bring elite women's soccer to Cleveland's youth as role models and examples of successful players who have walked the same path they are on. To provide a base for collegiate athletes to continue to train and develop over the summer months. And to provide an opportunity for post-college players who have a lot of talent so they can represent Cleveland. Uh, myself and my family, we attended every game actually. Uh, got to meet every player. Um, after the games, um, actually spent some time with a couple of the players outside of the games as they helped uh, train a couple of our girls. I do like Corey Chapek because I got her autograph and I like to see her play and she plays defense like I do. Um, but I also like seeing the whole team play as well. To see how good and how I could be when I grow up. They were, they were fantastic. They were very cordial, spent a lot of time with the kids, talked to them, shared experiences with them, um, told them what they do and how they do it and how they became as good as they are as players. At the start of the season, the team met to outline what we wanted to achieve through the summer. Firstly, we wanted the environment to be positive and uplifting, which accelerates progress on and off the field. We didn't want to dwell on mistakes or look for culprits when things went wrong, but we wanted to go out and explore our talent by playing positive soccer, passing creatively and at a high tempo and taking 1v1s and using skills when the game required them. We didn't want to focus too much on tactics, but rather wanted to use positive principles. Everybody bonded so quickly and the mood was always upbeat with everyone enjoying what they were doing. Friendships were quickly formed and the team was cohesive on and off the field. In training, we wanted each player to hit between one to 3,000 shots through the course of the summer. And we ended up as the top scorers of the division. Our strikers were excellent and scored 14 goals in 12 games between them. Our main goalkeeping coach was Aaron Treadway, a UEFA A licensed goalkeeping coach who has worked for several professional teams. We were privileged to have Aaron working with us and our goalkeepers had a great summer. Having possession for the sake of it isn't something we wanted to pursue. We wanted to play at a high tempo, moving the ball forward quickly and productively to create openings as often as we could. The girls passing through the course of the season was outstanding.
As a team, we knew we would get more value out of everything we did if we defended with pride and with a positive energy. The level in training would go up, the tempo of games would be higher, we would get better quality work done and would be fitter as a result. The more experienced players did an amazing job of setting the tone and the games were more exciting because they were played at a high tempo when we attacked and when we defended. To get a better understanding of the WPSL season, we should first look at the annual schedule for collegiate players. In November, their seasons end after non-conference and conference play. After rest during December and January, the spring season begins, which ramps up the players' physical and technical capabilities. After the spring, an issue for college coaches and players is how to keep the players fit and working with the ball without burning out during the months of May, June and July. If the players do nothing, they'll be well below par once the preseason begins, but equally, if they work too hard, they'll be burned out before the season even starts. Our aim in the summer is to focus on improving technique and provide playing and training opportunities through the WPSL to keep fitness topped up in addition to the workout packets the players receive. The foundation of the team was essential and we wanted our centre backs to be brave play out of tight situations and start attacks. They would often find themselves 1v1, but they did a great job of winning the ball high up the field and then being composed enough to pass accurately under pressure. The fullbacks, or outside defenders, were very good going forward and provided assists and attacking outlets. Their energy and bursting runs down the wings gave the team an added dimension. We wanted them to be positive and to attack as often as possible.
With the fullbacks bringing good width, it gave our wingers the opportunity to come inside and be creative and get on the ball. They were a great 1v1 and were encouraged to use skills and freedom to attack and express themselves. For young players, this type of player was great to watch and Yo, learn from. What's going on? The central midfielders were the heartbeat of the team. They set the tempo and had a hand in everything that happened on the field. They defended well, scored goals and assisted, but most notably, their awareness, passing speed and ability to let the game flow through them was what triggered everything positive that we did. They would have to handle the ball in tight spots and dribble out at times, but their decision making showed why they are such elite players. The well-being of the girls was something we wanted to specialise in. Upon arriving at each training session, the players would fill out a questionnaire that allowed staff to monitor their physical and mental state. This notified us of any injuries, their energy levels, sleep quality, stress levels and helped us to know which players should train lighter, sometimes in certain training groups or as neutral players in drills. Mickey Lopresti served as the team nutritionist making sure the players ate healthy food at meals. Nikki is also a certified Pilates instructor. She made sure the girls stretch properly and improved body form and strength. I'm Nikki Lopresti and I'm gonna be working with Pilates with the team, primarily working towards getting their core strong and um, a lot, most of the focus will probably be on stretching because I don't think that they do a very good job after they're done practicing and so we're going to try and get that stuff done so that their legs are nice and good shape for the games and after games. Chris Lewandowski was the team performance trainer. Chris has worked with many professional athletes and made sure the players are working productively as athletes to be fit, strong and powerful in the context of the WPSL season and preparation for the college season. Um, really to, again, work on timing and rhythm, getting them to understand that their first three steps um, and the, their mechanical position, it, it, it's a skill just like their touch on a ball and things like that. So how do they become more effective and more efficient, either closing space or creating separation? We partnered with Nova Care, who provided professional and consistent medical care. Jennifer, the trainer, was great and took care of everyone. While you cannot totally prevent injuries, we concentrated on reducing risk and are pleased because of the staff's work, we didn't have any major injuries. We partnered with CBCA High School for a number of reasons. Professional soccer players such as Ben Spees, Kai Kasaguren, Jack and Nick Thompson, Sation Wilson, 
Matt Horth, Ben Zemanski, and many more have all graduated from CVCA, and the school has a history for soccer excellence. The environment at CVCA is friendly, welcoming, and it is a close community. The facilities are great, and the staff care about the development of young people. We were privileged to be able to play there, and it was a perfect situation. We, we were over the moon excited just because more than just shared values, being concerned with advancing and preparing girls for the next level. And it, it just seemed like a perfect partnership with what we want to do here at the school to have that kind of quality, that kind of emphasis on preparation. We just thought, please come and be able to use our facilities and to be able to be associated with ambassadors that way. That's right down our alley. Right. It's been a win for both organizations. Uh, I know our kids are excited. They uh, see and recognize what's going on out here. And so uh, there's been a lot of buzz inside the building. And so it's been a great partnership so far. The relationship between everyone was so important to us. We wanted everyone to be respected, to work together to achieve our goals and for everyone to learn from each other. We had lots of experienced players and asked for them to share their knowledge and invest in the younger players. The relationship between staff and players was excellent and this helped the environment to be as positive as it was. Away games would make for long trips, but they were a lot of fun because of the relationships. We wanted to prioritise the players' needs and worked with Precious Cargo Transport Service to ensure players had space to rest, Wi-Fi and outlets for summer school work or for their jobs or just for entertainment and watching the Cavs. The staff and drivers from Precious Cargo were great and all the trips went really well. You good, Willie? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna make it work. There are many great clubs in Cleveland and the heroes are the youth coaches, referees and managers who give young players the opportunity to play, learn and grow through soccer. From recreational all the way up, the Cleveland community has nurtured players who have gone on to some of the top schools in the country. We were privileged to be able to bring them back and give the community an opportunity to see the fruits of their work. We had an under-20 team to try to give an opportunity to more players, especially up-and-coming players. The U-20 team did very well, scored some great goals and didn't concede. Other WPSL teams had recommended joining and Commissioner Jerry Zanelli has a passion for the league and was very welcoming and helpful in the process of starting a team for Cleveland. We found the league to be exactly what we'd hoped for and had a wonderful experience. Having big goals of impacting the community, providing a high level of soccer, and trying to run an elite team was extremely difficult. The staff were unbelievable in taking on so many roles and responsibilities. From administration to putting up tents, to being Darth Vader or Rock Croc, the staff were serving every step of the way, and the team couldn't have happened without them. The community that was created is something we are extremely proud of. Many people rallied together to make the team possible and the atmosphere was uplifting and fun the whole time. Younger players could enjoy playing, interacting and looking up to role models and the Cleveland community benefited from the team. A huge thank you to everyone who helped make this possible. I know that I played